Hello, man. This is McGay Manic here. Welcome to another new gameplay, Pokemon gameplay on my channel. I'm going to be featuring uh, the new Pokemon Snap for the Nintendo Switch. Uh, appearance, I'll take as this one. So, this is the newest. Uh, I'll just call myself Jeffrey. Nice and simple. Uh, yes, I'm ready to start. So, this is the, I did an old gameplay of the old Pokemon Snap for Nintendo 64 in my last video. So, I got this game today. It came out officially today, really pre really released. Uh, so I'll be doing a gameplay of this game real quick. So I'm gonna show you how the uh, how the levels work. I'll probably do it by level by level. I won't, I won't get to do the whole game because the whole game will take like it will take very long. But I will do, I'll go level by level. So this is similar to this is a remake of the Pokemon Snap for Nintendo 64, which came out 22 years ago to get uh, last uh, month, April uh, March 22nd, 20, uh, 1991. So it's about 22 years since about 30. Uh, actually, yeah, 22 years since the uh, first game came out. Hey, over here. Let's Professor uh, Mira, great greetings. And Vita, the name of the character. This is the Lento region. Hi there, I'm glad you made it. Welcome to the Laboratory of Eco Ecology and Natural Sciences, or LENS for short, like camera lens. My name is Mira. I'm researching Pokemon and their na natural environment here on Florio Island. Yeah, and that's not all. The professor's gonna study every single island here in the Lento region. No one's ever done an ecological survey like this before. It's gonna be amazing. No one. Are you forgetting a certain explorer? Oops, good point. You read the stories of Captain Vince, haven't you? But even him, call him Professor, your survey is gonna be the first of its kind in a hundred years. That's awesome. Well, thanks. This is Rita. Her parents are good friends of mine. She's here on vacation while our school is on break. I'm not just here to goof off, Professor. I'm your research assistant. Ah, yes, that's right. I appreciate the help. Now, before we go over what you'll be doing in the, this program, why don't you step into the lab to get settled? Yeah. Right you are, Professor. I'll lead the way. All right, so let's go to the lab. So it's Professor Miller in the Lentil region in Florio Island. All right, allow me to explain. The Lentil region is absolutely a team with Pokemon. Portot photographing these Pokemon help us learn more about them and their ecosystem. And that's exactly what you're here to do. At night, you might even get to see glowing Pokemon. They're really pretty. Right. Now, without further ado, here's your research camera. There it is. That's a nice camera right there. I got the same one. We can use them to communicate with each other and the rest of the team, too. That's right. It's more than just a camera. It lets you keep in touch and analyze data on the fly. Yeah. It also serves as a sort of ID badge for you here. So take good care of it. Got the camera. There it is. It's a very nice looking camera, too. Awesome, right? The professor invented it. Can I explain how to use the professor? Sure thing, Rita. This is the way. I'll go take care of some other preparations. Yeah. Alright, come on. Let's go outside. Uh, let's go outside. That's the den right there, you see? So that was the base of the different lit button layouts. Okay. Let's... let's... Oh, we got a pavilion right there. Sure. Sure. Okay, let's move around. Yeah, there we go. That's Pikachu, nice. Yeah. Pretty cool. Not 
Nice. No okay, games, Professor Oak in the Pokemon Island. How was that? I hope you're getting the hang of your research camera. Now that I've read, I've read the photos you took. Would you like mine choosing one shot of each Pokemon you photograph? Sure. I rate them using my special scoring system. Pick whichever shots you think are the best. Alright, so I'll definitely pick some shots. Select the Pikachu folder. I'll definitely pick this one. Now, Vermilion folder. Vermilion is the only I got, so I have to pick that one. Okay, cool. Now we're gonna evaluate that. Evaluate is a little different from this one. Before it was like silent pose and then uh, technique. So now you have more, you have more. Uh, so you have pose, size, direction, placement, other point one in the background. So there's a lot more categories. Move on to the score. First, I'm gonna start this pose. Time to pose, just the right moment to get kids getting a high pose score. Now to the other factors. Side is straightforward. The larger your side of the Pokemon appears in the photo, the better. Then there's the direction of the Pokemon's facing. Try to get it facing you in your photos. Next is placement. And finally, get bonus points the other Pokemon in the photo, which is subject Pokemon. Now, I know that was a lot of all, info all at once. Let me boil it down. Remember this, you'll do fine. Get the Pokemon nice and big in the center of the frame, then snap the shutter. Well, that in mind, here's your evaluation. Looking good. You're hard to be if you're a beginner. beginner. Now we'll do Vervillion. Next is Vermillion, a new addition to our research. I seen some flight, nice going. This isn't a bad shot at all. Alright, again, the whole Pokemon in the frame looking nice and big as the key to a good size score. Alright. Pretty good, pretty good. What did you think? Once you get your photos evaluated, you can use them to fill out your very own Pokemon photo decks. That would be a great milestone to work toward. That about does it. I think it's time to settle your settle on your adventure. Yeah, let's get started. Let's get started. I definitely want to get started. That should about do it. See this pod? It will carry you on your photography expeditions. It's called a Neo One. It's the best. It can teleport to far off places in no time flat. I finally put the finishing charges on it not long ago with a little help of someone I know. You see, it makes use of energy hotspots scattered around through, scattered throughout the Ledger region. Come on, Professor, the just can These can wait. Fair enough, let's get you moving. Someone in and touch your camera to the console. Very nice. Let's get started. And they also have this, the vehicle is called the Zero One. This is called a Neo One. Good luck, you got this. Yes, I definitely will join my first polar expedition, definitely. And everyone I will do so far. So Lento Tower, the Blue Chronicles of the Voyagers kind of to the Isles of Lento about 100 years ago. It contains entries about the Illumina Pokemon. Since it reads like an adventure of story. Ah, oh, forget about the whole line. Okay, here we're about to get started. Okay. Let's begin. Oh, I see some of the drill there. And Pavilion. <laughs> the dude's about to wake. That's a good starting right there. I got a nice little real picture right there. Oh, it's Cookie right there too. And a bunch of Buffalon as well. Just grazing about. And it's Pichu as cool as well. Very nice. Okay, cool. Let's see if we see anybody else here. Nothing in the water. Or we see some Bidoof over here, too. Some Bidoof right there hiding in the grass. But I'll try to get a better photo of him. That's one pole as well. Another one for hiding in the grass there. So what else we got going on here? Crystal, some kind of egg. Some kind of crystal maybe, let's see. I got some swana over here, nice swana.
We got some tail flying around about here. There's a little drill again flying around. There we go. There's a nice picture of the Dodger over there. Let's see anything else. There's a Swanner again. That's Pichu again. Grookey. I think I better show that Grookey. But who's my favorite start in Sword and Shield? If I was playing Sword and Shield, that's the one I'll definitely start with. Oh, I can't fall checking. Oh, that's Pichu. Pichu I can get a good shot of. See what else we got going on here. As we do for uh, building logs, like he's building, a, they're building a house. Got one flying over there. It's probably just some tail. Oh, it's Belufa getting right there, right? as well. Oh, the drill must have scaled them off. Oh, it's magic card. Got the magical flopping around there. That's another worm pull. That's Taylor again. Good shot, Taylor there. Let's see if there's some more Vervillion over here. We're on a film, so I gotta be careful about how I use my film. There's Taylor on the pole there. I'll definitely get a shot at that. That's Vervillion. Love the pattern of Vervillion. That's the original pattern, I believe. Let me see some Comfe over here. That's Florges. Okay, we're almost at the end of the, the end of the we're almost at the end. Okay, cool, that's it. That was a pretty good first run through the course. Let's see how we did. I hope you had a good time in Florida Natural Nature Park. Now, just like before, it's time to show me some photos you took. Go ahead, choose one photo of Pokemon. Okay. Little bit, I got Dodrio. See which Dodrio shot I took. I took 13 Dodrio shots. Let's see which one I want to pick here. I kind of like that one because that one's standing, so I'll go with that one. Revealing, I took, uh, I took about six. Uh. I'll take this one because it shows himself uh, mainly. Grookey? I need to get close enough shots of Grookey. Uh, it's not the best one, but I'll take I'll take this one. Buffalant. Let's see Buffalant. I'll do that Buffalant. This one right there. Pichu? I got a closer shot of Pichu over here, so let's do this one because it's centered. Bidoof? I'll do that one. Got a little one of us showing the rest of this back. Confei? Took only one shot at Confei. One pro? See, which one part I want to show here? I'll do that one. I like that one. Let me see the rest of them, though. That one's good, actually. Swanna? Uh, I'll do that one. That one looks cool. Telo? I probably definitely wanted the three of them together. Yeah, I think I'm going to choose this one. Because this one's very good. And they're all standing together. Magikarp? I'll definitely do this one. And the last one was Floyd's. Let's see Floyd. Floyd took seven. Uh, I'll do this one. Alright, let's uh, show Professor. Very nice. Let's see how we do. Right, let's have a look. So, first one is Dodrio. Oh, the Dodrio. New research. Six calls nice one. Keep it up. 450, 8,000 direction placement. That's a good one. 2,826. Pavilion, compared to my other one, better size than the other Pokemon, so we'll definitely keep that one. Gookie? Gookie, I don't think it's decent. I'll do a better shot of Gookie. Yeah, I'll do another, I'll do another Gookie shot. Buffalo, Buffalo, I definitely have to get a better shot as well. Plus 684 is not bad. Pichu? 
Peace out, man. Next time, I have to get a facing man. Three thousand. That's still pretty good. We do. Nine fifty, three thirty-two, eight seventy-five, nine seventy-nine, twenty-one, three ten. Nice, thirty-four, sixty-seven. Good shot, right there. Come play. There's other comfy in the photo too, which is very nice. We got a seven twelve. And what? But that one was a nice shot. I like that one. Pushed out a lot. It's 500, 3091, 905, 966, 3762. Nice. And Swan. I like the Swan shot too. Four thousand. Nice. And Taylor. 831. Nice. And last one's Magic Card. So that's 823. And the last one is Florges. I love the pattern of the Florges. It's very pretty. Plus 619. Not bad. Alright, pretty good. Pretty good. So, what did you think? One last thing. Let me tell you about Reach's levels. The Reach's levels on the course tells you how much progress you made there. Once that level goes up, you may have seen Pokemon behave in ways that you haven't seen before. The key to raising your research levels is to observe all types of Pokemon's behaviors. That means getting Pokemon from them in every category, from 1 star to 4 star. So a short flow of that Pokedex. Keep them out of mind and you'll be on the right track. So get out there and start lots of photos. And cherish the encounters of Pokemon you have along the way. So level to level 2. And let's start Pokemon research. I bet Pokemon in the area will get comfortable with you. So you got a new gift. Before we have a newbie, nice. Look this way. Smack dab in the middle. Let's save some photos. Let's save some photos. Uh, yes. Okay. I did research. You can choose photos to save in your album, which is your space in the lab. You can also resnap to make some dangerous photos before you save them. Uh, Dodrio. I definitely want to save the one I by the way, which is this one. Uh, Gookie, I'll save this one. I'll save this one. I have a lot of pictures, pictures of Beedoof and Pikachu, so. Let me see one. Point. One point I'll save this one. I'll tell. I'll definitely save the group of three, which is this one. This one, I'll save that one. Picture, I'll definitely save this one. We know it's backspacing to him. I, I always got a better picture later. We do, I'll definitely save that one. I'll save the floppy magic card over here. Save this for Villion. And this floor just with Confade, too. Okay, great. Okay. Good. Let's go to return to camp. Very nice. You don't want to automatic control the rules, so you can focus on controlling the camera. In the camera point to move right or left. Zoom, press the whole L or ZL, take it forward, press A. Alright, I definitely end it here because my camera's about to die actually. That car is just about everything. Can we go on a nighttime photo shoot later? Not yet, but soon. After a little more practice. By the way, don't forget to come back to the lab and take a look at your photo decks anytime. I'll explain more about that when you stop by the lab. Well, don't let me keep you without one. Go have a good time and snap some photos. Alright, somebody down here, my next my camera's dying. If you guys like the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe more videos like this, and hit that notification bell so you next time I upload a video. Take some more videos, my next bye for now.